what up youtube my name is richard or uh, rich x auto as i'm known as in the producing world now i'm just kidding i'm not there yet but listen i want to show you guys how to um you know make one of them dank ass beats feel me so today i'm gonna make one of those like heavy distorted heavy bass uh heavy 808 uh beats that you might find on soundcloud you know with that heavy distortion i don't know which ones i'm talking about so uh yeah, let's just get into it. See if I can help y'all make, you know, some dope beats. So the first thing I like to do is open a MIDI out. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Like channel, whatever. I open up the piano roll. And then I uh, click this stamp button up here. If you have FL12, I believe the other versions don't have this. But uh, yeah, FL12. So you click this. And you could actually... Um, stamp any scale you want to use you know so you could stay within the scale you know you're, in a, you're not hitting any funky notes you're just chilling so for this one we're going to use Phrygia and uh you know you could pick whatever scale it doesn't really matter as long as your 808 fits that note you know so you might have to change your scales if the 808 sounds too low or too high but yeah for right now I'm going to use a a F for region and then uh, what I do is I stretch this out for four bars and then I'm a control C control V to pace control down and then a uh, control left to bring it back and then I just repeat that and uh, yeah so the reason I do this, so let me let me show you. So this I have a Nexus piano right here. So the reason why I do that is see now if I want to put some piano some keys in here. See that? I can see the scale. So everything's everything's in the scale. I'm not I'm not gonna hit a I'm not gonna hit a note that's not in the scale. Everything's gonna sound good, kosher, feel me? You know? So you can get something like this, easy, in the scale, no problem. You know, that's besides the point, but yeah, that's what it's for. So, all right, now let me show you my sounds, what I'm working with. You know, I got an 808, a big 808. You know, heavy, heavy, heavy. I got a kick, kind of punchy kick. Got me a clap. Got a snare, I might not use that one, but you know, it's there. I hat and then y'all know this chant y'all know that and then I got this uh this is Electra X it has some pretty cool sounds in there but uh I got I found this like distorted bell you know so I'm gonna use that distorted bell type thing um and then I uh, just a piano and Nexus and uh yeah, man, like these drum packs you can find online for free, you know, I know I really like this TM88 pack It's free, found it for free and then and then work with the sounds you got, you know, a lot of people don't have uh, Nexus, Electrex, all that stuff. Just work with, you, with what you got. If you have FL12, there's a lot of good sounds in here, man, like uh, like like GMS is a good one. Citrus is pretty good, man. It looks super simple, but it's, it's pretty good. GMS is nice, harmless, you know. There's a, there's a lot of good things in here, and a simple FL keys can work too. So I I use FL keys for some of my beats because like the Nexus piano sounds too dark sometimes. But um, yeah, man, work with, work with what you got, you know, make it work, make it happen. So all right, let's let's start this beat off. You know, I already picked 135 because that's a pretty good BPM for these type of beats. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So let's get in here. Turn on the beep, the metronome. Okay. So let's see. No, no, no. Thank you. 
Okay. And I'm gonna go into the piano now. Now I already kind of have this like little melody in my head, you know, it's just something simple to get us through the beat. You know, nothing too major. I already have all my sounds right here in the mixer. Save some time. But yeah, that's just a little melody, you know. That could be worked a lot on. You know, melodies could be super simple or super complicated. It's really up to you, you know. But for this tutorial, you know, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just, you know, something basic, nothing major. Now, let's move over to the 808. Uh, with these type of beats, I like to start with the 808 because the 808 is a big part, you know, it's like, that's the main thing you hear in these type of beats is the 808. So yeah, let's start there. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure your 808, this check mark is checked to on cut itself. So it doesn't bleed into the next, when you play it away, it doesn't bleed to the next one that's played because then it gets all muddy. Um, you wanna make sure your 808s are tuned. I mean, y'all should know this, but it's all over YouTube. I mean, this basic stuff, you know? You want to make sure your 808s tuned. So you go to regions, detect pitch regions, and see mine's already at C, it's already in C. So it's tuned. I don't got to do nothing. But if 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 it wasn't in C, for example, if it was an F, you see how root note says C. I'd put root note F, and then then it would be tuned. But it's already in C. Like, that's it. You know, I might have confused y'all, but I mean, just there's videos on that. But once you get trade away tune, you're good to go. So we we were working in F. Okay, that's too high. Yeah. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we want. Okay, check this. You know, you just want to feel like where you hear the 808 at. You know, it's it's preference, but I mean, there's spots where the 808s go, but you know, you want to you want to feel it. You know, simple. That's really all it, you know, a, that's a simple way to wait pattern, you know, you you get crazy, you know, you could, you could get crazy. You know, there's, there's a couple things you could do, you know, um, but yeah, just a simple way to wait, you know. Most of, for these type of beats, the 808s are pretty simple. Now the kicks, that's kind of a different story. The kicks could get a little bit, you know, a little bit different. Usually you're going to want to hit them, have them hit at the same spot. But like, so if they hit on the same spot, it'll be something like this. Now the thing with, with these 808s is that they're really punchy and really heavy. Well, see, I already have it, the setting on, but it's kind of hard for them to punch through sometimes. So you're gonna, what you would wanna do is click on your kick, go to this time box, you're gonna want to put this uh, the shift knob up. You want to hear it though. And what what that does? What that does is it uh, moves the kick behind the 808. Moves the kick behind the 808 so it can punch through. Because you know if not, it gets lost in the 808, and you can't even tell that it's there. And then also we could do with kicks, 
is uh, you could do something like this. Um, let's see. Okay. So you can have a kick here with no way to wait, and it gives a cool like little sound, you know, like. And then you could even do stuff like this, you know, put a put three of the uh, three kicks, and then you'll get this sound. You know, it's just simple stuff, you know, basic stuff, you know. Um, uh, let's add the clap. The clap is in a. I mean, y'all should know where the claps go. This is this is basic stuff, you know. We ain't playing games here. A three and the seven, three and the seven. Since we're in double time, we ain't fucking with no Mike, Michael Jackson shit. Cause that should be crazy for me. Yeah, <laughs> we we ain't messing with that. We we put it on the three and the seven. That's where that's gonna go. Three and the seven. Y'all know what that is, and um, yeah, you know something that else that's really popular these days is that that snare bounce, you know. But but you know that that snare bounce gets really overdone, and some beats they don't need that, you know. Like you don't you don't want to you don't want to overdo that that bounce. Sometimes you could get that bounce just with with your. With you know by putting the the clap on the three and the seven and with the with the eight away you don't want to do too much you know see I put that kick there because I, I I felt something missing there so I put a kick and that and that's what y'all gotta do sometimes you gotta hear what you're making and don't be afraid to you know like. You, you're, you're making it so you adjust it how you like and when you hear something missing you know find what's missing sometimes you might not know what's missing but you just gotta find it you know and just like just work at it and uh yeah man this beat's coming coming together pretty good uh i got this uh this chant right here y'all know this chant it's it's a cool chant you know i like using it it sounds cool so here's that chant that's where that goes You know that's that. Uh, you, so next we have is the hi hats. Now I'm not gonna get too crazy in the hi hats because you know hi hats could be a little bit, a little bit crazy. People could get really crazy with the hi hats, man. And, and honestly, it's an art. You know, my hi hats. You know, I like to keep it kind of simple. You know, not nothing too crazy, nothing too uh, you know, like like I do rolls and stuff. But like people be doing rolls different notes and stuff and if you're just starting in you know just don't worry too much about that so what i did there was i uh, right click fill each two step so that's what i do and then that's going to give you this it's going to give you that and and that's sometimes that's all you need you know you don't want to do too much because ultimately you're making beats so people can rap on them or so you can rap on them and you don't want too much going on in the background that throws throws a rapper off. So sometimes this is my this could be all you really need. And it's cool, you know. But but I'm gonna show you a little something if you you know you wanna put some flair in it. So uh what I like to do is um I like to press control L to elongate the notes. So you know it'll be easier to see and you see this last one doesn't elongate you put one at the end press Control l and then it elongates and then you just could delete that last one and then so once we're here what i like to do is i mean same thing you know you want to you want to hear what you, you want to hear how do i put this you want to play it through and then you want to in your mind you want to hear you want to like play where the hi-hat goes if that makes any sense um let me here let me show you what i'm talking about so i'm in a fourth beat i'm gonna highlight these right here press Control u to chop it up in the fourth in those fourth beats and then you get this okay 
and as the beat's going on, I, I hear in my head where I want more rolls to go. For example, I want one to go right here. You know, you got to hear it out. I want another one right here. And then in my head right here, I want a fast roll. So how you do that, you're going to go to a half step. Control U cuts it up in, the, in those half steps. This is what we get. Actually, you know what? You know what? Hold up. Give me one second. That, that, see, that conflicts with that, uh, that, that triple kick that we have. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that here and then on this one, I'm going to do that, that quarter beat. Dip. Simple, you know, S moves the beat, nothing too crazy. But yeah, man, that's, that's it right there. That's, that's how you make a simple beat in, um, in uh fl studio if you want this this drum kick uh just uh write me i'll send it over to you it, you can find it you know if you look up tm88 free drum kit you'll find it man it's a it's a sick drum kit honestly I, on all the beats i use mainly use that one mainly use that one and it's free you know look i haven't got two of them there's it's the same thing tm88 tm tm TM88 Nightmare Drum Kit, same thing, you know. If you can't find it, hit me up. I'll send it over to you. Um, but yeah, get get you get you that drum kit. Fuck with what you got on the the sounds, you know. If you don't got Nexus, all that it don't matter. Use whatever you got, and then you can make a dope beat. Oh yeah, then uh, they already had this on here. I already kind of mixed it before I made the beat, but um. This is how you get that distortion. Here, let me let me crank it up so y'all can hear it. So that so you know you could have it that high, you know, it's up to you really, but that's how you get that like that's how you get that X, ski mask, you know, low pump. That's how you get that sound, you know. Oh, I didn't even freaking show you, but on the master, click uh uh, fruity fast distortion and then you just crank it down on the um the mix level so it's not you know and that's about it yo that's how you make that beat um thanks for watching you know like and subscribe tell a homie if you like the the video L let me know what y'all guys want next you know i got the beats trust um so yeah after right now i'm going to show you uh the full beat you know like a little bit more mix and complete so you can hear, you know, it's just simple beat could turn into a lot. Thanks for watching.